Hello everybody, welcome to my talk. I am doing the five second rule, chapter four. It is called, Why the Rule Works. So, um, it, it's amazing so far and it hasn't even started, but like I said, I've used this since I started listening her, to her talk about it. But, um, you know, uh, so this is what she says, and I, I wish I could read the whole chapter to you because it has a lot of information, but I'm going to read the things that I think are, are important or that, you know, hit a, a note for me. Um, uh, it's anytime there's something you know you should do, but you feel uncertain, afraid, or overwhelmed, just take control by counting backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. That's, that'll quiet your mind. Then move when you get to one. Counting and moving are actions. By teaching yourself to take action when normally you'd stop yourself by thinking you can create remarkable changes and that my friends is the most important thing and that's what's helped me do all this you know a lot of it you know is, is very little i i don't have a lot of followers and um and and i'm using this mostly to to help me stay you know on track of the things i want to do mostly like if I didn't say on Thursdays I'm going to read or, or summarize a chapter in my book, maybe I wouldn't read the book, right? So this is helping me uh, stay, you know, on top of my goals, what I say I'm going to do. Uh, but hopefully the things I, I learn from the books I read are going to help you um, Take action too. Most everything, every success that you will have is because you're taking action on something. And most of the time, it's scary to take action. I, I tell you from my experience, I was, I, I, I know I repeated a lot, but I was content. I thought that was the end of me. I had my kids, I had my job, I had my house, I had my husband, and that was gonna be it. And it just starting to to read stuff and, and see stuff and hear other people just open my mind to so much more that is possible, you know, after 50, after, you know, I'm older than when I thought that was the end of me, I was done. And right now at 50, I think I'm just starting on like lots of things that I, that I want to do. And it's just amazing. It's a, an extremely happy feeling to have the things to look forward to and, and to know that the only reason you didn't have any goals or any things before is because you you your mind didn't let you you learn so many things like I, the other thing that i wanted to read is is just the part because i think i mentioned it last time the part where your your mind is is constructed to not let you do things to to keep you away from scary things and let me see if I can find it but okay here it is basically I, but basically your mind tricks you into thinking things through and the moment you get tricked into doing this you'll get trapped by your thoughts your mind has a million ways to talk you out of action that's the neurological reason why it's so hard to change. As I mentioned in chapter one, change requires you to do things that are uncertain, scary, or new. Your brain, by design, will not let you do such things. Your brain is afraid of things that feel uncertain, scary, or new. So it will do whatever it can to talk you out of doing those things. It is a part of your hard wiring and this hesitation happens really fast. That is why you should, you have to act even faster to break it. The rule leverages and is an example of some powerful and proven principle in modern psychology. 
a bias towards action, internal locus of control, behavioral flexibility, the progress principles, starting rituals, the golden rule of habits, authentic pride, deliberate action, event planning, and activation energy. I think, let me just read it. Throughout this book, you'll learn more about these principles as we go into greater detail about how you can use the rule in specific areas of your life. So all those things, she's going to explain on the rest of the chapters, which I will summarize to you as I understand it. So you could kind of see it, but you guys should read the book. It really is. A really good book um, but I just think it, like I read it and I think of myself and how like and, and and I didn't even think of oh maybe I should do it like the hesitation happens and I like why do anything I have everything I'm just gonna sit here and watch TV and just get ready for tomorrow cuz I'm just gonna go work and I'm gonna make the money to pay the bills and get some food and just sit here and watch TV. Like I'm just working so I could sit here and be happy. But but that's not happiness. Ha happiness is having your next goals. Once you reach one, do another one and do another one. And that just keeps you motivated, happy. You, you don't think about, uh, oh, what was me, depression, or, or you know, it, it keeps you thinking on what you're doing so it doesn't give you time to think of poor little me, right? So I, I hope you guys listen, you know, the little bit of people that listen to me, um, I hope this motivates you to, to just, just do the things you want, just think of what you want, write, you know, three goals that you have for the rest of the year. And when you feel things that, that could help you get there, just don't even think about it. Just five, four, three, two, one, and boom, do it. Action. Action is what gets you to, to do things. And then, you know, you know that it's not going to be fast. Having patience is the the other thing because, you know, you, you you get excited and you do action and then it's like, well, I did it and nothing happened. But nothing's going to come like right in the next day. You have to give it some time to, to, to boil and, you know, get the stuff together so it could work nicely. But, um, but yeah, I, I, and the other thing is, is you know your goal is far away right because you want a good goal or or you know it's not easy if it's something you want if it's something that was easy you already got it right so uh, there's little things that you could do that make you happy as you go closer to that goal right so um so enjoy those things that that's where i'm at i'm like working towards a lot of little things uh, my vision board but um just every time something cool happens and i say oh i'm almost there i'm almost there like i have a couple things that are coming at the beginning of of the year that i have goal to get L let me just tell you one of my goals so you know you know i since i went to summit with my company I have this drive to, uh, you know, action, action. So I've been doing lots of things that will help me get there. And uh, one of the things I major need, everything I'm doing is on my little teeny phone. So, um, and you know, I'm working to uh, pay off my, my debt. So it's not easy for me to just grab, you know, $1,000 and go get a laptop. So I'm saving for that laptop. So I get, I'm going to give it to me. Like I set a date for my birthday. I'm giving myself a laptop so I could, you know, be a little bit more, uh, I was going to say productive, but I think I'm productive as is. 
I just need to be organized. That's what I need. I need the laptop to be organized so I could put everything that I'm doing and, you know, and my, my uh, small goals that I'm reaching till, till I get that. Um, to, Cause I have, I was gonna grab like the papers, but I think I have them all over there. Like I write things and I write things, but it's, I have papers scattered. I have some here and some over by my computer and uh, some in the kitchen because I, I see things and I say, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And I take action um, as I, it's possible with a little bit of time that I have. Um, but I think it'd be a lot more, uh, um, I forgot the word again, I just said it. But if I had a laptop, I could write the things and be more organized, organized with my goals and the direction that I'm hitting and how many things I'm hitting and when I'm hitting them and when I plan to hit them, you know, all that good stuff. So, um, cheer for me so I could get these things and, and then I have a couple more like things like right after that that I, I've been saving for too. And you know, even just saving, paying down the debt, but having a little savings on the side for extra little things that, that you want, it's just exciting to to see like every month how it's growing and you're getting closer to that. that that's where I see, you know, when that money's growing. And I know I should grab it and pay, uh, you know, some of my debt with that. But I, it's, it's things I need to get me closer to this, right? Uh, that's the way I see it. And there, there's some things like the bike that I just want. But that's, again, that, that like I, now I think about the things I buy. And that's helping me with my health. I'm growing older. I need to keep moving so um, once I'm out of debt and I get into you know traveling because that's what I want to do uh, I could walk and see the things I want to see when I travel right because if I can't walk then how am I gonna travel so anyway with that I leave you thank you for uh, listening to me and if you like what you hear just um, what is it subscribe subscribe so you can see me uh, every week tuesdays and thursdays tuesdays is the whatever i'm doing and uh, every thursday i'm reading a book and summarizing the chapter and i love all the books that i've read so far and i hope you guys love the summaries too see you next week thank you so much for watching